members of the media, thank you very much. And uh, welcome once more to the PSL headquarters as we preview the NetBank Cup fixtures that are taking place this weekend. The first one that we preview uh, will be one taking place tomorrow evening in KZN at the Pumalanga Stadium. Uh, we are joined by the away team coach, Coach Siad Ramovic, representing TS Galaxy. Um, just to look at you know that fixture that they will be playing up against Golden Arrows uh, tomorrow evening, like I said. Coach, thank you very much for joining us here at the PSL headquarters. I know you've got a flight, uh, so we won't waste too much of your time because you have to travel uh, to KZN. Maybe we can just open, you know, with just your opening remarks, you know, what you think about, you know, the fixture tomorrow against Arrows, um, familiar opposition. You played them uh, last week in, in, in the DSCV Premiership. Uh, but what can we expect uh, you know, uh, from TS Galaxy? Sunny Bonani to all of you, and thank you that I can be here. Uh, yes, uh, we are playing against Aros. is a team, and it's a very, very tough team to beat. Yes, they didn't win the last couple of games, but this is the, the past, is always danger to play against this kind of teams and the NetBank Cup game is always a totally different uh, story. So we have to be, of course, again on our best to increase the chances, of course, to win the game. It will be a, a tough game and hopefully we can do everything what we trained this week again to, to increase and to win the game, of course, and to be in the next round of the Cup. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you very much, Coach. Let's take questions from the floor, just by show of hands. Maybe while you're there, let's give uh, Delmain a chance. I've noted Kabu here as well. Coach Delmain from Sakura Duma. Coach, the last time you went to Europe with your team, when you come back, you seem deflated, almost like you, the defeats that had had a, ne a negative psychological effect on the team, and there was a lot said about it. This time around, you went to Europe, came back, almost like the lessons you got in Europe because you had won a few games. You had come and used it effectively because in your match against Arrows, you had gone down, but then continued playing your style and played really beautiful football and won the game. And I ask, what was the difference this time around? With the, with the European trip and how is it positively impacting um, your side? Thank you. Um, I would like to say that it's everything It's a process. So the last time we went, we had also a different type of <coughs> players that I don't want to do mention now, but we get out of this kind of players, they didn't want to improve themselves. And yes, and this time, of course, we knew that uh, from the start of the season, we, we got a lot of young players from NFT, from our under-21, that, that you can see a fantastic uh, character, fantastic attitude. They want to improve. They are very, every, every training, every uh, analyze we do, every recording, after the training, when we cut the clips and show this kind of players what they should, should do, where they should move, and that we, as a team, play better. And of course, and the process is there when you have players that has a great attitude, what we have, and wants to improve. After a while, your game will increase. It will be much, much better. And like I always said, South Africa has a lot of fantastic talents, players, um, fast, physically strong, technically very good. Only the tactically side is a little bit where we, have, where we should improve. And this is what we did. 
and then we went to uh, 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 Turkey. We played against a very, very tough teams. They are playing Champions League, Asia. They're playing uh, UEFA Cup and uh, teams that you are pleased to play against. Because, all, of course, then they can see where we are. And we, and we, I think that we represented ourselves and also South Africa in a beautiful way. We beat uh, Mura 5-1. We beat uh, Nav Bahor, that played now the Champions League. Uh, five nil. We beat. Um, then we beat um, this team from 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 Slovenia, and we beat also this team from Ukraine four nil. So we we started to score a lot of goals. Why? Be because our final pass started to be much much better. And when you see the last. Let's say that the last half season, we had in every game a lot of op opportunities to score the goals. But we missed, we missed maybe the final pass, too strong, too soft, too long, too short. And now this kind of thing is improved, but we know that we have to still, still to improve a lot to just to keep the, the flow. And I'm happy about it. And this is, of course, what we just continue. But we know that uh, we have to stay focused, we, ha we have to continue to, to train well, to stay humble. Why? Because now the, the mind, what I always told, tell my players, now the, the mind will try to trick you. Take it easy, now you win. Now you don't have to train so much, no other things. If you do this, if we do, do this, then we will go three times faster backwards. And then, you, and then you have to start again your hard work. No, we continue now to stay there, to continue to, to work hard, and hopefully we can reach our goal, what we set up in, uh, in front of the season. Thank you. Good morning, Coach. Um, coach. Please take us through the trickiness of playing the same team twice in the space of a week. You played Arrows last week in the league, but now you're playing uh, uh, them again in the cup competition. So a different approach, all those sorts of things. Take us through the, the trickiness of playing the same team, the, the same team twice. I think that uh, we saw s some of the things where we can still um, play or play uh, uh, better. So we we analyzed the. Uh, Last game, and we saw some things where we can improve on this uh, stage, and we trained in this kind of uh, things. But we will try again. We will try to play our style of play and to improve still these small things, what we should, because then the game will be much easier for, for us. But again, every game is a new game. You never know what you can expect how the game will be, one red card, one penalty, so you never know what you will expect. So you are, we are preparing ourselves very well, try to get into the next round because we, we got the feeling how it is to stay in the final Black Label Cup. And it will be just amazing if we can do the same thing with, uh, with the new cup, with the Netback Cup. <coughs> Uh, good morning, Coach. Uh, coach, you actually played Golden Arrows uh, for the third time in about uh, just over a month, and uh, I think you've scored five goals up against them. Uh, uh, how do you got up against complacency? Because maybe some of the players might think, well, it's Golden Arrows, we've beaten them twice already. Uh, how do you got against complacency and ensure that you guys you know, play the match on other occasion as well? I can promise you that my, that my players, they went so much through negative things and good things and they know and they know that we are clear about it every day you don't get anything for free every game you are, you have to repeat your maximum you have to repeat the fight for every inch on the, the field you have to repeat your focus attitude dedication everything to make it sure or to increase to win the games if we don't do this we will lose 
against any team in this league. Why? Because every team in this league is a, is a very, very good team, a lot of great coaches. So we have to be on our best every day, every game. Lawrence? Firstly, obviously, Samir Novkovic has been doing really well uh, coming off the bench. Um, how far is he from you know, starting games? Because obviously he had a lot of fitness issues, um, not playing football for a year. And then secondly, uh, Coach Rulani Mokwena uh, said on, on Monday that uh, he didn't appreciate how you had a go at him. Uh, publicly, and that's something that you should do behind closed doors, man to man over phone calls, which he said he, he phoned you. Um, <coughs> do you agree that it was blown out of proportion, or do you regret what you said? Uh, let's start with <laughs> Samir the first and <laughs> get the, fun, the, the funny part in the end. Uh, Samir is, a, is a just unbelievable unbelievable striker. I met so many players through my playing career also as a coach and I can clearly say I didn't see so many of them. Very professional, hard working guy, fantastic attitude, very great uh, human being and we are just a lucky one to have Samir in our team. He is he is on a top fitness now, and he will help us a lot. We have still uh, 14 games in the league, and hopefully four more games in the cup game. And yes, and 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 he will be. I hope so. And got bewarded that he don't get injured. Any of our of our players, because we have 22. Players in our, our squad is a small squad, and we are very happy. And it t or talks also to our, n let's say, like uh, knowledge that no one got injured. So it means that our periodization is is class, and I have to give a lot of credit to my ent entire stuff. But Samir is a guy, no injuries. Every day he trained on the best. And I am sure that every team, every team in this league would be judged just happy to have uh, Samir in their, in, their, in, their, in their squad. And we are the happy one. And we will, I'm pretty sure, we will see a lot of him still until the end of the season. And now we come to the funny part. Um, I would like to start on this way. I did not come to South Africa to argue with anyone. I did not come here, and, and my goal is not to fight with anyone or to make any headlines. I came here that my team improves, that my club improves, that maybe one day if I leave the, the club, that the club, the new coach that comes, will find a top club, that he can continue to have even more success as the club has it with me. This is my goal. And if somebody like he, like he did to undermine, to disrespect my players, the hard work they do every day, and if we win a game against them, we should all know here, they are spending over 150 million rand the last two seasons for players. So it means that they have a squad, it's just unbelievable quality. And if a coach lose against us, that we brought players from NFD, brought players from under 21, but when they see now that we know, TS Galaxy, I know, that we don't have this financial power like they do, but we have to find ways how we can succeed. And I think that we do a very good job, but without the hard work of the players, any 
any coach can sit here, he don't have a chance. If the players don't want to improve, if the players don't want to come. So if I see my players every day, how hard they work, I will always protect, I will always, always um, be and raise my voice if somebody, doesn't matter who it is, disrespect my players, disrespect the value of this club, of my staff, of me. And this is what he, he, he did. He came with a cheap excuse that he didn't play with seven players. So it means that he disrespected, first of all, his own players that played. And when you see which players they had on the field against us, <laughs> top class. With this team, he can also win a league. But if he feels that he cannot have a plan B, it also speaks to his quality. But I don't want to go there, and I don't care. I care, we have principles. I have values, and I care about my players that no one will disrespect the hard work they did on this day to win against Sundowns. So, and if it comes now again up, I didn't want actually to say it so much about it, but when he came up again and told them the, the public, so it means he called someone because he don't want to go uh, uh, public, but when he talks to a guy, it should stay then what you talk. And you cannot go then afterwards again into the public and say, but I did this and this and this. But he did, and now we, and now we have to finish the sentence. So Rulani didn't call me after this happened. It was on the 30th of November. I raised my voice that he disrespected my players, me, my staff, and the club. I didn't attack him. I just protected my players, and I will not let anyone de de disrespect them. So after a month, 29th of December, we were in the bus and we drive to Mbombella. A day before that, Mudao came to me when he saw me in a mall. And he asked me, coach, when you want to buy me with a, with a smile? So I told him, I can't buy you because you are too expensive. <laughs> so he asked me then, okay, why you fight with my coach? And I, and I told him, I don't fight. And it's not my, 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 my goal to fight with anyone. I explained them exactly the same thing what I explained you. I will not let anyone, and please tell your coach, stop to undermine your colleagues and the, their work, and stop to undermine my players. So what, so what happened? I got a call from him during the bus driving to Mbombella. I pick up the phone, and he started to yell, to scream, and he told me I will just make it short because he talked 10 minutes or entertained me with a lot of <coughs> nonsense. But what he told me, it was, who the to come? I just, I just quote him. I just quote him. He said, again, who to come in and talk to me like this. Do you know who my uh, 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 parents are? Be careful how you talk because you are <laughs> After that, I told him that I don't care who, you, who your parents are, and, he, and then he hang up the, the, the phone. This was his standard, high standard, of, of uh, how he said it, uh, how is the high st standard of, 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 of uh, morale. 
I was very disappointed. I can t tell you, because I think to get treated, to get a, a treatment from a colleague like this, it's a very, 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 let's say, small-minded talk. So, but I want to. I would like to clarify now. Sundowns is a beautiful club with a high standard of morale. The players, the supporters, also top. It's just a case about his behavior and me now. Again, I have principles. I have values and I stick to it. I had one assistant coach before I before the two coaches I I have now. He disrespected a players from us. I sent him home. I finished the, the work. Why? The principles and the values it count for everyone. For me, for players, for kidmen, for staff, for everyone in the club because it's a club. So the other talk, what, when he said that he, that he also called Bruce and he ap apologized, I had a talk with him yesterday, with Bruce. And with his per permission, I asked him if I can tell it what Bruce told me. He said, yes, I would never, again, I would never say anything when I have a private talk. But with, but, with the, but with the permission of Bruce, I said, he said, yes, of course, because it's true. He never called Bruce, and he never apologized to Rulani. This is a big lie, but this is what I don't deal. Sundowns has to deal with a coach that put up some stories what is not true. If you don't believe me, ask Bruce. Because again, I talked to him and he, and he just told me. The things what it stands in the media about Mourinho and the things, he did not say it. And he sent a message to Rulani that he did not say this. That's it. No apologies, no nothing, because he don't have anything to apologize. But maybe who should apologize to Bruce is Rulani. And you, and you know why? After the Congo game, Bafana play. Rulani went into the dressing room from Bruce. It's not his team, and I think no one should de should disrespect a, 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 a colleague to go into the dressing room and talk to the players. Yes, he got. A invitation from the SAFA president, but even then, a coach should never go there because how how it will be is if somebody after a Sundowns game, a coach from the opponent or from anyone goes into the dressing room of him, I'm I'm pretty sure that no one would like it. So the, so the undermining the colleagues, the, the disrespecting the colleagues, is this the high standard of morale that, that he talks? Where I was also disappointed, very disappointed, if somebody disrespect my player and he, and he did Bernard Parker is a very, very legend in South Africa. He's a fantastic human being, fantastic uh, 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 player, fantastic attitude that everyone would just be amazed to have him in the squad. He played the World Cup. He played 72 play games for the Bafana. Bafana. He won so many titles. And that after the horrible, horrible injury, when we played against Sundowns, when 
a player of Sundowns broke Parker's leg. That Rulani didn't have this kind of high standards of, of, of morale and, and uh, of this one, to call him, to apologize to him, to write him, or to visit him. Nothing. And I will protect any player again, anyone that undermine and disrespect my players. And he, and he did it again and again and again. That's why I went out in the public and said it, that he should stop to disrespect my players and the club. This is the only thing. And again, I don't, I don't, I don't have anything against, against, against Lani. I don't have anything. I could sit now here and say things that would not be the principles from my side, and I will not do this. I never disrespected anyone, not a coach, not a player, not everyone. We went, if somebody remember, TS Galaxy, went to visit Mako when he got the brutal injury also. We didn't play against him. But we went to the hospital to visit him. Why? Because this is the principles, this is the values that our club and me and my players have. We went with seven players to the hospital to visit him because we know that every visit will help the player to feel better. And this is, if somebody, again, don't have the time to call him, to visit Bernard Parker, it's, it's disappointed. Dis disappointed. Please. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, we have run out of time, unfortunately. There were still questions, I know, from the floor. But maybe, uh, Maybe. Closing, if you can just give us, yes, uh, yes, yes. Just give us a, a so I would like to clo close the thing, yes. Okay. And I would like to, to say, I'm in a beautiful country. And I got so many, so many beautiful things to see here. And I'm the most happy guy here. How the, how the people took me, how the people treated me and everything. And I will show again, I'm very grateful and thanks. And I wish after all these things, after all these kind of things, I wish him and Sundowns to win the cup, to win everything. And you know why? Because everything that South Africa can win will put the league on a higher uh, 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 level. Anyone, if Chiefs, Orlando, Stellenbosch, whoever can win CAF, can win whatever it is, it will be just amazing. Why? Because all of us will have more values. And this is the way how I would like to thank you for your questions. And hopefully we will play soon against Sundowns. I'm sure it will be an amazing, amazing <laughs> game because both teams, bo bo both teams play a fantastic style of play, and hopefully we can win the, the game again. And after that, he can win the, the league and he can do whatever. But the three points, I would like to. Okay. Thank Coach, you. Uh, what I was going to say was in closing, mm -hmm. we, just coming back to NetBank Cup. <laughs> Uh, for, for tomorrow's match, <laughs> for tomorrow's match, uh, any, is everybody available? Just an update in terms of the squad. Everybody is there. Okay. All right, thank you. All thank the you. best.